హలో గైస్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అమూల్యాస్ అకాడమీ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ వి వర్ డిస్కసింగ్ గ్రాఫ్ ట్రావర్సల్ ఆపరేషన్ అండ్ ఇన్ ది ప్రీవియస్ ట్యూటోరియల్ వీ సా హౌ వీ క్యాన్ ట్రావర్స్ అ గ్రాఫ్ యూజింగ్ డిఎఫ్ఎస్ అల్గారిథమ్ నెక్స్ట్ లెట్స్ టాక్ అబౌట్ డిఎఫ్ఎస్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ వీ క్యాన్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ డిఎఫ్ఎస్ అల్గారిథమ్ యూజింగ్ రికర్సివ్ అప్రోచ్ ఆర్ ఇటరేటివ్ అప్రోచ్ దట్ ఈస్ వీ క్యాన్ రైట్ అ ఫంక్షన్ ఫర్ డిఎఫ్ఎస్ అల్గారిథమ్ రికర్సివ్లీ ఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఇటరేటివ్ అప్రోచ్ బట్ ఇన్ బోత్ recursive and iterative approach will use stack data structure to implement dfs algorithm in iterative approach we'll use stack explicitly or externally and in recursive approach stacks are used internally in the next tutorial we'll see how to write the function for dfs algorithm using recursive approach and iterative approach today we'll see how and why stack data structures are used to implement dfs algorithm all right first let's answer the first question that is how stack data structures are used in dfs algorithm okay so first step is we need to choose the starting node and here i'll choose this a as the starting node okay this is my starting node so i need to start the traversal operation from here and here after choosing the starting node i need to push that starting node to stack okay stack follows last in first out or first in last out rule and in stack push operation means inserting the element to the stack pop operation means removing the element from the stack right so now first you need to perform the push operation that is you need to push starting node so here starting node is a so here i'll create a stack like this and i need to push a so now our stack contains a next step is after performing push operation we need to perform pop operation now perform pop operation pop will remove the top element present in the stack the element which is present in the top it will remove that here only one element is present in the stack so it will pop that so here pop a now a is removed from the stack after that you need to check whether a is already visited here no a is not visited so visit that node first you need to pick the starting node and you need to push that to stack then you need to perform the pop operation that means we are removing the starting node from the stack and we need to check whether that node is already visited if it is not visited then visit that node so now a is visited now next step is you need to push all the adjacent node of the starting node to stack after visiting a you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of starting node here a is the starting node and its adjacent node is b which is unvisited so i need to push that to stack push unvisited adjacent node of the starting node now after push what do you need to do you need to perform pop operation that means pop the element from the stack so here in the stack only one element is present so pop b now b is popped out from the stack now what i need to do i need to check whether b is already visited here b is not visited so you can maintain a list or array which contains the nodes which are already visited for example here like this visited list here a is visited so like this now here we need to check whether b is visited or not here b is not visited so visit that that means add that here also now next step is b is visited now what you need to do is you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of b to stack here c is the adjacent node of b and it is unvisited so push that to stack after push operation you need to perform pop operation so here only one element present in the stack so pop c now check whether c is already visited no so now visit that and also add this to this list now c is visited next what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of c to stack here d e b are the adjacent node of c b is already visited so you need to push d and e to the stack and you can push in any order okay you can push first d next e or you can push first e next d 
here first i'll push d next e now there are two elements present in this stack now after push operation what do you need to do you need to perform pop operation pop operation is nothing but removing the top element from this stack so in the top e is present so pop that remove that now next step is you need to check whether e is already visited no so that means visit that node so here visit that node here also add this here now pop operation is done we visited node e next what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of e to stack here c and f are the adjacent node of e c is already visited so i need to push f here after push operation what you need to do you need to do pop operation right pop operation means removing the element present in the top so you need to pop f here remove f from the stack so next you need to check whether f is already visited no so visit that and also add that here now f is also visited previously we did pop operation now we need to do the push operation f is visited next we need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of f to stack e is the adjacent node of f and it is already visited we don't have any other node to visit here we read the dead end there is nothing to push here now next we need to perform the pop operation here only one element present in the stack so pop that pop d so next check whether d is already visited no so visit that here what we are doing is first we choose this as the starting node we visited b c e f we read the dead end so we what we need to do we need to backtrack right we will come here we will check whether this node contains uh, any adjacent node to visit no we will come here next we will visit d that's what we are doing here we are visiting d now so i will visit d now what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of d to stack okay after performing pop operation you need to push here m and k are the unvisited adjacent node of d so i'll push that to the stack and for now the order of nodes doesn't matter now after push operation what you need to do you need to do pop operation so pop k remove k check whether k is already visited no so add that to visited node and visit that next you need to push the unvisited adjacent node of k to stack but we don't have anything to insert right we don't have any value to push so what you need to do you need to do pop operation next so here m is in the top so you need to pop that pop m and check whether it is already visited no so visit that next push all the adjacent node of m to stack but here we can see we don't have any unvisited adjacent node of m that's why there is nothing to push then we need to perform pop operation but here we can see stack is empty so we can't perform pop operation that means we are done so now you can see right how stack is used to implement dfs algorithm so let's take another example okay here we have another graph i'll take stack so let's take a as the starting node so first step is i need to push the starting node to the stack after performing push operation you need to perform pop operation that means pop a next step is you need to check whether a is already visited so i'll take a list of visited nodes and here you can see it is initially empty that means a is not visited so mark this node as visited and visit that node now what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of a to stack here c b d are the adjacent node of a and these nodes are unvisited so here you can push it in any order i'll push like this c b d so next what you need to do after push operation you need to perform pop operation in the pop operation we need to remove the top element from the stack so pop d check whether d is already visited no then mark it as visited and visit that node done next what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of d to stack 
so here d is adjacent to c b a e in which a is already visited so you need to push c b e to stack c b e you can follow any order okay and you can push the nodes in any order so now here you can see stack contains duplicate values so in dfs algorithms stack may contain duplicate values right next after push operation what do you need to do you need to do pop operation so pop e which is in the top so e check whether e is already visited no okay so mark it as visited and visit that node so now e is visited next what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of e to stack only b is unvisited d is already visited so push b after push operation what you need to do you need to do pop so pop b so check whether b is already visited no so mark it as visited and visit that next what you need to do you need to push all the unvisited adjacent node of b to stack here a is already visited d is already visited e is already visited all the adjacent node of b is visited so we don't have anything to push next you need to do is pop operation so pop b check whether b is already visited yes so no need to visit that again so skip this next pop c c is already visited no okay so we need to visit that so add this as marked and visit that now next push all the unvisited adjacent node of c we don't have any thing to push okay here you can see all the adjacent node of c is visited so pop from the stack now so we are popping b so b is already visited so skip that next again pop c is already visited here you can see so skip that now here you can see stack is empty so we are done so when you pop a node from the stack and if that node is already visited then you need to skip that okay so this is how we can use stack in dfs algorithm now we know how stack data structure is used in dfs algorithm now the next question is why stack data structure why stack data structure is used to implement dfs algorithm that is because here which node i want to visit that is actually depends on first in last out concept that's why we are using stack i'll tell you why first here we'll visit a next b next c right after that we have two way either we can visit d or e if i choose d then after visiting d what i need to do is i need to visit m or k after completing this we need to visit e okay here we need first in last out approach or last in first out approach that's why here stacks are used when i d pop d that means we are visiting d after that what i need to do i need to add m and k right here i'll add m k after visiting these nodes then only we'll visit e whatever the node which we added first that will be removed last that will be visited last Okay so this is about the dfs implementation using stack and in the next tutorial we'll write the function for dfs algorithm using recursive approach as well as iterative approach so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care and be safe